Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Sunda. In today's video, I'll tell you how you can set and clear form notifications in your Dynamics 365 forms. This is very simple, so please follow me. So, first of all, I have created a trial instance to show how this will work and I have created a new student entity. So basically what we will try to do is on save of this record, we will show a form notification somewhere here. Okay, so first what we will do is we will create a JS file and then we will write a small function that will be called on save event. What I have done is I have created a JS file that is student create notification.js and I have given a namespace. Now in this, what I have done is I have created a small function that is student create notification which is have which is taking one parameter and I have just written a simple line that is alert event call. Okay, so this is the first step. We will expand it, but first of all, we will create an event that will be called on save of that record. So I have created a small solution. So what we will do is we will go to the student entity and then we will open our form. So go to the form properties. First we have to add a library. Now here for this form libraries I will click on add. And from here I will select new. So this here we are going to create a new web resource file. Okay, so I'll give student notification. So this will be your display name. So I'm creating a web resource file because in Dynamics 365 we would need a web resource file and then we will select the type here that is script and choose our file. So this is the file that I have created. So I will select it, select this and save it and publish it. So in Dynamics 365, what we do is we used to create a web resource file and then in the web resource, we used to link our file, JS file. So that's how it works. So it is taking some time to publish it. So this is our web resource file that is created and published. Now I'll minimize it and then this is this is selected and I'll add this. So in library I have my file now. I want to call this event on save. So I will write on save. So this is by adding an event we will call our function that is student create notification. So it is inside my namespace. So I'll go here. This is our function name student dot. So I'm trying to access this function. So like this. Okay. So that's how uh, the function will be called. Enable and here I'll pass the execution context as first parameter. Okay. So this is done. Okay. I'll save my form and I'll publish it. So we just need to check by creating a record and doing a save that this method is alert if coming or not. So let's go to our record. Let's refresh our instance. So I'll go to the students. I'll click on new. I will write basic concepts. This is not required. So I will just save it. So our event is getting pro called properly. So let's click on OK and now modify our code. So as of now, I'll just remove this alert. And now I'll create a new variable. And I will get my uh, form context from the execution context. So from the execution, I'll say get form context method. And then I will define my message which I want to show. So I want to show student record created successfully. And uh, I'll take a unique ID and I'll show you how we are going to use it. So, so I'll, 
I'm just giving anything one zero one is yes. Now we are good. Now let's add the function which will show the form notification. So it will be form context dot y dot set form notification and it will take three parameters first is the message second is the type of the warning or the notification you want to show so if you there are three types error warning and info so here i just want to show the info so i'll use the info type and the third parameter would be the unique id so uh, this is the method which will show your form notification now let's see how we can clear our notification okay so in this what will happen i will set a timeout function and inside that i will write a function and and in this function i will say okay now clear my notification and this will take first parameter so if there are multiple form notifications you are going to set so with the help of unique id we can tell this method that okay you want to clear this notification so that's how unique id is useful and then we will define the next parameter of the set timeout function is the time so i want to clear my notification after 10 seconds so i'll take a new variable i will say okay so after 10 seconds i want to clear it so i will pass the display time parameter here so we are all good and now it's time to test our functionality so we want to update our web resource so i'll just open the web resource and we can update our file by choosing the file here or we can or we can open the text editor so i'll just copy this code and i will put it here okay and then i think we are all good and i will uh, save it and publish it so now we'll go and i'll refresh our environment and we will try to save the record that we have created again so basic one example and let's save it so if you see student record created successfully and it will be cleared after 10 seconds so let's wait and see so it got clear so this is how we can set and clear the form notification in dynamics 365 forms if you like this so please hit the like button and uh, leave a comment thanks for watching